Now we will explain the Huffman coding algorithm which is a form of source encoding algorithm. According to the previous lecture we have already seen that the source encoding algorithm states to encode a source with entropy HM we need on an, in an, on an average HM number of digits to encode the source. I will tell you the idea. Let us consider the English language. The alphabets of English language have different frequency of occurrences. For example, letter E occurs a very high number of times as compared to letter Z. Now if we have to send these letters over the communication channel, the letter E if they are encoded with same number of bits, then letter E will require a higher bandwidth as compared to letter Z. In order to eliminate this problem, our idea is to encode the messages having high probability of occurrence with lesser number of bits and encode the messages with lower probability of occurrence with higher number of bits. This is the general idea of source encoding algorithm. Let us look at the first source encoding algorithm which is called Huffman code. Let us understand Huffman code with an example. Here I have given six messages starting from M1 through M6 having different probability of occurrences. First of all we need to arrange them in descending order of probabilities. Here in this problem already it has been given in descending order if it is not given then you have to arrange in the descending order of probabilities. So letter M1 has a probability of 0.3, M2 has a probability of 0.25, M3 has a probability of 0.15, M4 has a probability of 0.12, M5 has 0.10 and M6 has 0.08. The idea is first take the last two probabilities which definitely are the least. Take them and add them. Whatever you get the value you put it again in descending order. See here 0 0.10 and 0 0.08 if you add them we get 0.18. So this 0.18 will rise up above 0.15. So we can rearrange them as 0 0.3, 0 0.25, 0 0.18, 0 0.15 and 0 0.12. Again we have to repeat it. So we are adding the last two 0 0.15 and 0 0.12. The result is 0.27. So 0.27 again goes higher up in the table after 0.3 then comes 0.25 and last is 0.18. In this fashion we have to go on adding till the last digit is obtained. In this case since we are dealing with binary numbers so in the last reduced state we should have two probabilities. So let us look at the third one S3. Here we are adding the last two that is 0.25 and 0.18 we are getting 0.43. So 0.43 in the last it goes above 0.3 so we get again we are rearranging it is as 0 0.43, 0 0.3 and 0.27. The last stage we have to add the two 0.3 and 0.27 the result is 0.57. So at the last reduced state we have at the above we have 0.57 and below we have 0.43. So now this is arranged. Now we have to start encoding it. How to encode? As I said that the probabilities which are high should be encoded with lower number of bits and probabilities which are low should be encoded with higher number of bits. So we start with 0.57 since it is higher we encode it with a single 0 bit and we go below to 0.43 and encode it with one single bit which is 1. Now this 0 0.43 in the in the last uh, in, in the S3 state 0.43 is 1 so we put the value of 1 over here. Now this 0 0.3 and 0 0.27 adding them up we get 0 0.57 so what we write we take that value 0 and put them in the leftmost bit. So for 0 0.3 and 0 0.27 the leftmost bit becomes 0 because these two are derived from 0.57. Now again in order to encode the rightmost bit 
point 3 is above point 27 so encode it with 0 and point 27 is below so encode it with 1 so we are left with point 3 having 0 0 encoding and point 27 having 0 1 encoding next we go to the uh, s2 reduced state see here point 43 has been obtained from point 25 and point 18 so what we do we put the value of 1 for point 25 and point 18 at the leftmost digit and again since point 25 is above we encode it with 0 in the right hand side and encode point 18 with 1 in the right hand side so we are left with point 25 having 1 0 point 18 having 1 1 and we take the value of point 27 0 1 and point 3 already we have found it out as 0 0 next we go to the s1 reduced state you see here point 3 is already done so it is 0 0 now point 27 has been obtained from these two so this point 27 is 0 1 we have encoded so here at the leftmost two digits we write 0 1 0 1 again in order to encode the rightmost digit 0.15 is at the right hand side, uh, 0.15 is above, so we encode the rightmost bit with 0 and 0 0.12 is below it, so we encode it with 1 at the rightmost digit. So we have obtained all the encoding digits like 0 0.3 is 0, 0, 0, 0.25 is 1, 0, 0, 0.15 already got 0, 1, 0, 0, 0.12 is we have got it as 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 is 10 0 and 0 0.08 is 111. So, we can see that rightfully the digits which have higher probability of occurrences have been encoded with lower number of bits like M1 and M2 they have high probability of occurrences as compared to the other bits. So, we have encoded them with two number of digits whereas M3, M4, M5, N6, they have low probability of occurrences, so we have encoded them with three number of bits. So this is the idea. After calculating the table, after calculating uh, the total number of bits, we have to have four different parameters. What are those parameters? We have to calculate L, that is the total number of bits required to encode this source, which is given as summation of PI multiplied by li where li is the number of bits per message so for m3 it will be 2 and for m4 it will be 3 then we have to find out the entropy of the source which already we have found out it is given as summation of pi log of 1 by pi and the last two are the code efficiencies and redundancy where code efficiency is given as eta equal to entropy by L and redundancy gamma is given as 1 minus eta.